Woohoo! We made it! This is block 30 of June Mini Madness. Yes, we've made it through 30 days of miniature blocks. Uh, today's block will be your final challenge. This is called School Girls Puzzle, and it's another good old traditional block. And this one involves lots of triangles. For a three inch block, you're going to cut three one and five inch eight one three one and five eight inch squares of your primary color red you're going to cut them in half diagonally for six triangles yes i know you've thrown away triangles smaller than this but we're not throwing these away you're going to cut five one and five eight inch squares of your blue fabric and four one and a quarter inch squares of your blue fabric. You're going to cut one two and three eighth inch square of your background fabric and you're going to cut that in half diagonally to make two triangles. For a six inch block you'll need three two and three eighth inch squares of your red, five two and three eighth inch squares of your blue, four two inch squares and one three and seven eighth inch square of your background fabric. So we're going to start out by sewing the two corners of your block that are made with the small triangles. So we're going to make four half square triangle units using red and blue. The rest of these will be reserved for our other half of the block. So you will also be making, for the other side of the block, you'll be making two half square triangle units out of the red and blue and reserving the remaining four blue triangles for completing the block. So we're going to sew all of these units together and trim the seams to an eighth of an inch. We're going to press them toward the blue and then we'll come back and uh, assemble the block. All right, all our triangles are sewn and trimmed and ready for the next step. We're going to make the, uh, for the quarter of the block that has the two half square triangle units, we're going to just sew them together like this. And then while we're doing that, we're going to Add in the triangles for the other corners of the block. Once again, we're going to do a quarter inch seam allowance. And if you like, you can trim these down to an eighth of an inch when you're done, or you can leave them at a quarter of an inch. So for these units, we're going to add these triangles. We're going to add them as such. So this is similar to the birds in the air block, and we're going to end up with two triangles. Get that the right direction. We're going to end up with two triangles that we're going to sew to these. So I'm just going to run these through the machine right after my other units here. I keep losing my scissors. Oops. Okay, so there's that's one pair. And that's the other pair. There they are. It's much safer to cut with your scissors than your rotary cutter. Okay, so these seams are going to go toward the plain block side. 
and that's that seam so you get a nice little corner there. And same for this one. I'm just going to go ahead and snip off those triangles where they hang off. And then at this point, if you like, you can trim these seam allowances down. Finger press these triangles to the outside. I'm going to add the two remaining triangles to complete our little triangle units. I like to call this little unit here a triangle in a triangle. these whichever way you like them to go. You can also press them with your iron, but I am just going to finish this block right now while we're going. Okay, we've got this done. So I'm once again, I'm going to just trim off the part of the triangle that I see sticking out. it out. Like these, so to these. Match that up nicely. If you like, you can um, replace this triangle unit and sew just your half square triangles with your background. So you would need another one and a quarter inch of your background, and then you would need two, uh, what is it, two and three eighths inch squares cut in half diagonally of your background fabric. Triangles are going to go toward the center of the block. Trim off your little dog ears. That always sounds a little sadistic. Okay, so. These are going to go this way, and then your little triangles are going to go this way. We're going to sew this just like a regular four patch. See, this isn't so hard. The pieces are a little small, but it's not really anything you haven't sewn before, so you should be able to get this. Tomorrow, or actually not tomorrow, but later today, I'll shortly today I'll be posting on my blog my finished quilt because I'm using this for my um, Island Boutique Ambassador project for the month. It was a free month, so we could do anything we wanted to do, and I've done a bunch of 
projects actually out of Island Petite this month, but I, but I really wanted to feature my mini madness quilt just for the fun of it. And so I have it, I have my original one all quilted and ready to show you. So that will be up just another, just a, a little bit later this morning. All right, are you ready? Ta-da! those corners all actually don't look too bad. So this is our final block for June Mini Madness and it is called School Girls Puzzle. Thanks for hanging in with me and for uh, giving me encouragement and just making this a fun experience for me. I hope it helped your month to pass in a happy manner as much as it made my month pass in a happy way. So wishing you all the best. Uh, tomorrow, I'm not going to have a video, but I'll have a blog post about how to set your blocks and some uh, tips and some different ideas for how you can put your blocks together. Thanks again. Bye.